What's up, everyone? It's Kanan, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. This one, the poll, so that is what I'm playing today. I'm fresh off of work, fresh out of the showers, feeling refreshed. So let's get this first fight going. If you enjoy our content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a comment. Let's do it. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Okay, signing adjutants, okay. Gotcha. You just now figured that out. As I said last episode, they really throw a lot at you all at once. <laughs> Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Ace huh. Captain was hanging on by a thread. Now we know who to kill. I know Jerisa is very out there, but who? Defeat the gatekeeper. Okay. It's not our gatekeeper, is it? Level up. Okay. <laughs> I know about drops. That's a standard in pretty much every Warriors game. Now, I used to play Dynasty Warriors all the time when I was younger. The one, like, I gotta say, they, they did get really repetitive as the years went on. Like, Ko Koei just wasn't adding anything into most of them to make them worth buying each and every one. When was the most recent Dynasty Warriors game? Have they even made one in recent years? But, um, it seems like they've been making way more crossover games like Hyrule Warriors and, uh, the Fire Emblem games than Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors for that matter. Um, but the one that I really, really enjoyed was uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 on the PlayStation 2. I loved that. Um, it had to create a create uh, a officer mode where you could pretty much create your own person to uh, play as. At that time, it was just male, but I had so much fun. Um, I was pretty much role playing in a non role play game like this was my character that was just steamrolling through yes. all these armies it seems we will need a key to open it <laughs> i was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest and now those intruders are all over the thing well well you just appeared right where i want you to okay chests and keys okay I'm gonna walk right into him, yep. Well, nothing but air. Not for long. Give me the key. Thank you. My key. I will use it to open goodies. Hopefully the goodies are worth the life I just took. <laughs> Seize the th <laughs> thief's base. Well, I first want to uh, get the chest. Why not? Better give me something good. You all aren't worth it. Yummy, give, give me some blue liquid, whatever that is. Look, it's Ferdinand. Is he gonna tell us his name? There's no better inside the fortress than it was on the outside. I can't take this anymore. I wanna go home. Stay with it, Bernie. Yeah. 
I have to say, even though she's probably not going to uh, take a female Biolus spot as my all-time favorite, but I do like Shades. Um, I like her way more than I thought I was going to. Man, he was not wanting to die. He is now. Presto, you dead. Well, we've almost got this about wrapped up. Look, it's the chest. I wonder if we will get anything of use out of it. Or will it be junk? Whoops, overshot it. Ooh, what's that? got a new accessory okay it won't tell me until we beat the level of course <sighs> this is certainly not what we signed up for oh come on Dorothy uh, stick with it Instant death. Gotta keep aiming higher. I'd say that takes care of securing the bandit hideout. Unless something else concerns you, Professor. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Okay. Hey, there's a oh, down it's here. Monica. She looks like an academy student. So, I mean, if I'm guessing, this is probably where Monica was in the original three houses. It's just that in this version, we actually save her. Kranya, okay. So yeah. Um this is definitely the real Monica. We must take the girl and run. She'll be okay. Whoever they are, they seem to be targeting that student. It falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. <laughs> Yeah, I already defeated them, so. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. Enough of the excuses. That's good. Oh, I ran out of time. I ran out of Super Saiyan power, I guess. Yep. Had to go back to normal. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Okay, stop interrupting me. I hate that. Out of 
You want me to start a, stop a thief from getting away, but you also want me to protect everybody. Like, good old Warriors games giving you so many objectives that really it's almost impossible to do them all. Hello, did you think you were getting away? How foolish of you. Don't lose, huh? We should be safe here. I mean, it's like to me you lost. All right. Who came oh. here and trashed my beautiful stronghold? Oh, she appeared right in front of me. So yes, this is actually the real Monica. I'm crying, but you can just call me <coughs> the lady that's about to murder you. Or you know, don't. It's her. So be it. Kill her. Jeez, okay. Hey, I get it. Good. That's the last of them. So, if you've got any pretty last words lined up, now would be the time. Really? Not that I'm going to pay attention. If you choose... Gotta keep aiming higher. Play Arachronia. Then it is you who will die this day. Really? A demon beast? This is going to be trouble. On your guards, everyone. Okay, I get it. Fight the beast. It's the same as in original three houses. You gotta beat it down. Okay. Attack in force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. Eh, I'll be okay. It's not like any beast I have ever encountered. It will be a grueling battle unless we combine our strength. Its strength is beginning to wane. Crush the attack. There. there we go. They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talos isn't going to like this at all. You're full of epic You'll fails, aren't you, Cronia? Well, she got away. That snake escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. Yay! Stage complete. Look at that. All S's. Okay. I must get stronger. We all must get stronger. Any experience is worth having. I am the noble standard. MVP? Of course. Here. I was like level three when this thing started, no? Went all the way to level eight. This'll help me break new boundaries. Okay, it's the same as in three houses. I imagine this will serve me well. I need more strength than this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Money. Okay. Money, money. Oh, oh cutscene time. Breathe fresh air again for as long as I lived. I'm not sure what to say except. Thank you, everyone. How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? 
I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. <sighs> Yeah, this is pretty much a timeline where we were able to save Monica. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Most loyal. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a Black Eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Mm, yes. Oh, I think no. I understand. This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? <laughs> Not that well, I'm trying to leave. We did leave him behind. Feet. You should have kept up. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Hmm. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events to think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Yeah, you guys are not doing your jobs. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You. You didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Oh, well, of course she wouldn't know that, Edel Edelgard. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. <laughs> what? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. <laughs> what do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I, um... Yeah. Thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> Edelgard is pretty I'm much... Of what I saw. A, hair, a harem protagonist at this point. Tomas? Wow, and he already gets ousted already. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mock even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois, be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Is that a threat? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone, vanished, lost. I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, huh. the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. Was it love? I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. Say? It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. Okay. Interesting and conversation so, there. The Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mock for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the church. The knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive. So we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. Uh, yeah, you'd probably know. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. 
No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. <laughs> Sounds like Jess. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he's been at Garrick Mock for 40 years, at least. 40? That's a long imagine time. that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? He meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. Eh. I'm excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they oh, were really Petra. worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. <laughs> You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Wow. Right. They're just piling Everyone up on Bernie. <laughs> Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Uh -oh. Well, well, it sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there and quickly. I think Tomas is here. I, uh, I'll be right back. Wait, we should discuss this before you... <sighs> Never mind. Oh, another cutscene. A lot of fate. There he is. Hmm? <sighs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. Oh, he's going to reveal himself already. This of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Yeah, very different from the events of Three Houses. So yeah, a lot is different. Uh oh, is there some connection? Such hubris for me of vermin. You will pay for this. And he's gone. Find him! Right. And what he did was just like. Uh oh. Let's save. Prologue. The Shadows of Adrestia. Okay. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres' most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Oh yeah, so definitely different. Things went like <laughs> clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably, and equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. She is jump-starting her plans big time. Yes, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one, the church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady. But this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. Wow. Even Hubert doesn't think and it's a good idea. Even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> Aw, she's... I am anything but certain. Aw. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. 
And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard. As ever. Then let us walk forward on this path. And see where it takes us. Okay. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Enbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Seeing Edelgard and Rhea talk civilly to each other really throws me off. Tomas tended the library at Garrig Lock for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendel. Ooh, Edelgard's using the opportunity to go after her uncle. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. I love how confident she looks. Look at that smile she's wearing. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hope you will consider deploying so in the original. Edelgard so asked Violet to go with her, and this one, everyone's going. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. Wow, she actually gave Edelgard a compliment. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. Wow. Wow. I have two <laughs> conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. I have a feeling Edelgard is ignoring both of those. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Wow, threat a threat, no Seth, really? As to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the church. Very well. I will summon the knights and let Nothing to gain from deceiving the church. <laughs> okay. The goddess, yeah. watch over you all. Oh, I bet she detests having to bow like that. Uh -oh. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. I don't think that's the end. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. I still think there's something up with Arval. I really do think there's something sinister there. You know what everyone knows about Tomas? Some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Uh-oh. Who's coming? Ah, there you ah. are. 
something wrong? I must return to the Imperial capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital. But I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have... Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, Ooh. now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. Okay. Monica. Okay. If you will, do you have a moment? Best huh? have to restore your strength. That bad, huh? Or emperor, or whatever she likes to be called. If I may. Smite her foes. Let's see. <laughs> I have no idea. Excuse me. Over here. Got a lot of people expecting a lot from me. My word is a bond. Hmm. I don't know exactly what's going on. <laughs> That's what I feel like <laughs> most of the time. Okay, let's go back. I talk to everybody. Can we continue? What do you think? Let's rest. Let's go, let's go, what? let's go. Uh -oh. Solon's been unmasked. Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. First Kranya's debacle and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleobulus is informed. Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. Yes. Lord yes. Regent, I have urgent tidings to report. You may enter. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Oh. Do you think? There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? They may already be within the palace walls. Uh-oh, getting a little paranoid there. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on the spot. Jeez! <laughs> No arrest, just kill. Okay. Your Highness has given the signal, Baldemar. Already? I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mock, after all. 
I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her confidence. Well, if she's caught us with our breaches down, imagine how they feel. I can't <laughs> wait to see the confused look on those dastard's faces. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee deep in gore with all the rest, which means that's a nice I'll picture. Make it clear where I stand. We can't afford to tear the ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. Okay. Well, these are your instructions. I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Envar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor and plot with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. Um, you realize it's just us, right, Adi? That sounds kind of impossible. Still, <laughs> the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside the palace. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you. I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. Oh, it's that easy. Just you watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. So here we are, ready to deal a master stroke to the heart of the mighty empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. I'm glad we'll you're entertained. We'll infiltrate the palace through the rear gate, then apprehend Lord Arendelle and Duke Iyer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter along the way. If that is our plan, then time cannot be wasted. You can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. Well, Dorothea got some Lead confidence. Away, Your Highness. Oh, and make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. You know every square inch of that place, after all. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run <laughs> in my house for That was too funny. Long. Today, I take it all back. Boy, that's a big map. Who all can we use? Okay. Okay, let's save. Let's do it. It was easy enough slipping in the back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. In that case, we'd best find and apprehend Duke Iyer and Lord Arendelle before they grow wise to our. Let's speed. just kill. Duke Iyer should be in the throne. He'll enter through the back way. Never see our coming, but we must hurry. The gods along the way are into Gaia's in Florida, so deal with them as you must. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill, 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 kill. Well, they're not, okay. Templetons. Here we go. We want the whoa. That's a big throw. That looks bigger than it did in the three in three houses. What in the No! Seal the gate now! Uh-oh. We get to fight him. Well. Guess not. He ran away. Send soldiers to the gardens! I want a sword on every path between my 
Sorry, but you got in my way. Shish kebab. Petting up sushi. to leave it'll have to be through me and if you want back in you must go through me although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates <laughs> well you guard had caught the trump now. card preposterous wait so those are the nobles you won over where did you find the time to orchestrate that? Now that we have Dugaya pinned down, let us clip his wings for good. Why? Let's go. There, I thought that said father. I was like, what? Another level up, yep. Gotta keep aiming higher. Oh, I found you. No, you're still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it is. Really? Cause I think one button mash is gonna be all it takes. It's oh. finished, Prime Minister. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. You're okay, maybe not one button. Use the. 
don't care if you bring the palace down around us. Just do it. Well, those look like they're gonna be uh, a pain. They're shooting at us. We should probably do something about that. The ambitions of Ludwig von Eyre won't be broken by the likes of you. Really? But I think I just did it. How can this be? I have riches, power. I am as great as a man can be. Illusions of grandeur. Well done, everyone. That just leaves Lord Orange. Yes, but he is the one we need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. You've either been captured already. <laughs> the wretch didn't even have the grace to buy me some time. Well, I have little interest in facing burden. So it's time for me to deploy my wife card. Okay. Dark magic. Find the casters and strike them down so we might dispel the sorcery. Come, Voldemort. You and I can split up and sweep the palace. A fine idea, Lee. Gotta keep aiming higher. Yippold. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. I'm afraid to consider how we'd stand without those two on our side. Come on, let's not waste this power up. Come on. to the chest real quick. Ugh, that's a lot of traveling around I'm gonna have to do. Got an exam seal, okay. Well, I'm guessing that'll come in handy. Yeah, why make us go all the way down here? It's really out of the way. Oh, that was, an, that was still an armored nightmare. to learn more about this dark magic. Probably. Okay. Get back over here. Oh, 
Wow, look at all the stuff I left behind. Good thing my cardio is good. Okay, Elgar looks like she's sweeping that one area pretty well, so let's go this way. aren't helping me. Oh, well, I didn't. That didn't seem to take as long as I thought it would. There. The barrier should dissipate now. That still didn't stop them. It seems they came prepared for any eventuality. Quickly now. We need to reach Lord Arendelle before he slips through our fingers. Any who sided with Duke Eye or Lord Arendelle and oppressed her highness will receive no quarter to us. Hubert, you finally said something I like. <laughs> now let's go stamp them out. Now, oh, all that and she just now leveled up. Oh. Is he in here? I thought it was the other place. Wretched vermin. Okay, it's okay. Another character must have entered that room. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrifying that is. Banish the darkness, and the terror will fade as well. That takes care of Athena. I think Her Highness should be very pleased with me indeed. <laughs> Whether or not she is pleased with you should be of secondary concern. The most important matter is what Are we jealous, Hubert? The final battle. Just got on. We are the darkness itself, and the darkness cannot be slain. 
Eh, I I disagree. He's talking like he a Kingdom escaped. Hearts character. Cowardly of him, but we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> I guess. Uh. Now what? <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs want to celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together like that. That was adorable. <laughs> a commendable victory, Lady Edelgard. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kranya and Tomas, since he shapeshifted and all. Yes. They're all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlin from the shadows. Now uh, we know what's slither in the dark. Yep. Huh. Never heard of them. Hmm. So, what is the plan now, Your Highness? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. At once, Your Highness. Oh, this is wonderful. Your Highness is going to become Your Majesty. Yes, but first I must speak with the Minister of Domestic Affairs, as well as the other counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Seraphs. I wasn't expecting all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We demand an explanation. Uh -oh. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with me first? I'm probably not getting the finer points here, but you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's. Is that right? I wasn't fighting your father, Gaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevering. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? She looks so happy. Unfortunately not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go. All S's again. I must regain what I've lost. Hard work. Okay. Then Wow, all that and she just now went to level two. I won't let myself stop here. Seems like Shez levels up way faster than the other characters. Keep aiming higher. What a fast I'll surely a new I must make Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Some money. We lack money. Hmm. And you say I have two years to complete these preparations. In cooperation with Count Hevering, of course. You and Hubert can finalize the details later. I mean, two I years, that's a lot of time. Prime Minister for some time, I realize this may result in extra work for you. However, that also means more latitude to do things as you see fit. So long as you ensure we're prepared for a five-year war. I will not rest until I discover a solution, Your Highness. So long as our military leaders don't tread on my toes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty. Hmm. For something this big, you better believe we'll have plenty of need for resources. Leave it to a narrow-minded quill carrier like you to call that treading on your toes. Okay, we're supposed to be getting along here. In Her here. Majesty's name. I will decide what is and isn't appropriate regarding your needs. Also, anyone would seem narrow-minded when compared to a swollen-headed juggernaut such as yourself. A juggernaut, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I see someone allow his sarcasm lessons to lapse. Moving <laughs> on, Lord Arendelle's followers will doubtless attempt to interfere, so we'll need to keep a close eye on them. Once Count Varley joins us, we can discuss the matter I mentioned further. It seems he's just arrived, Your Majesty. Apologies for my tardiness. Gregoire von Varley at the court service. My, but attendance seems light. Where is the Lord Regent and the rest of our noble six? Duke Eyre stands accused of treason and has been dismissed as Prime Minister. <laughs> for your information. He awaits judgment in one of our finer dungeons. Lord Arendelle is a fugitive from the same crime and will be taken in soon. Dead or alive, 
It makes no difference. Well, this is a rather shocking turn of events. I had no idea Ludwig was capable of such things. Still, rest assured that I am nothing like him. Sounds like guilt to me. Indeed. And as for the others, Duke Gert was dispatched to Western Fodland to conduct negotiations. And my father, the late Marquis Vestra, perished in the struggle to capture Duke Aya. Which makes me the new Marquis Vestra, and minister of the Imperial Household. Ah, you've nothing to fear, Count Farley. Her Majesty intends to bestow a great honor upon you. Majesty? Wait, do you mean... The title hasn't been formalized just yet, but as it stands, you should view it as a foregone conclusion. More importantly, Count Varley, there is a very important position I wish for you to fill. I intend to rebuild the Southern Church, and who better to be the bishop than you, our Minister of Religious Affairs? I will make okay. my case to the Archbishop personally. Thankfully, Lord Arundel and his men are no longer around to obstruct such a move. You would bestow such a position on me. Uh, make no mistake, it is a great honor, but are you certain? Very. Now then, your first duty in the role will be to oversee my coronation. Do not fail me, Bishop. Okay. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you enjoying your stay at the palace? More than I expected. Though I do feel a bit out of place here. Understandable. Everyone here either is a noble themselves or serves one. However, that will change. As Emperor, I plan to end discrimination based on social status. Everyone will have a chance to rise to the top, whether they are born into the aristocracy or not. No more nobles or commoners, huh? That does sound pretty great. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull it off. Oh, I will. But at the moment, I have a proposition for you. Go on. We've successfully expunged the Prime Minister and the rest of that puppet government. But a certain amount of unrest is unavoidable. Which means I must remain here in the capital. In other words, I can't go back to Garrick Moth and continue my studies. What about the others? Our noble families will be in disarray as we transition to my system and new heads of household take power. Of course, some, like Dorothea, That's understandable. are not as affected as the other students. But all of them have offered to stay and help rather than return to the monastery without us. If you'd be willing to do the same, I'd like to offer you a top post in my new military. Now there's Ooh. a tantalizing offer. It's not like you have any real obligation to the church. Plus, it sounds like quite the thrill. I'm more of a hired sword than an officer. Which is why you're perfect. Hubert wants to recruit mercenaries such as yourself and form a new unit. I can't put some noble in command of them. That would be ill-advised. But they would listen to a capable fighter such as you. You're Hubert's first and only choice. I don't know if I really have the experience for it. But if you have that much faith in me, I won't let you down. Yeah, just say yes already. <laughs> Having deposed Lord Arundel and Duke Iyer, Edelgard quickly arranges for her coronation, her eyes now fixed firmly on the monumental task laid out before her. All the while, the kingdom of Fargus is thrown into unrest over the right of succession. While the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyron horde. Okay, so things are not good everywhere. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officer's Academy and permits her charges to return home. Okay, very different. Finn! Scarlet Blaze. The struggle commences. So now the real story starts. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. Okay. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king. 
while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodland still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. We got it. Okay. People of Fodland, the Empire will stand by no longer. Together, we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Fodlin as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose. And they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The Empire has severed herself from their hypocrisy by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garigmach from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Hressfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false church of Saros. Okay. We got a declaration of war. The <sighs> past two years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendel from power. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Saros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, why the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor huh. Count Varley. Huh. It could not have happened to a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arendelle. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. Okay. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did. And thank you for coming. Look at the glow up. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths life laid out for us. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! <laughs> I was working hard at staying in my room, but... Still, Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning <laughs> home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garrig Mach in the coming days. Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, and wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. And as it has been some time since Adrestia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with a life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, your majesty. I'm always ready. Plus, it's good to know I haven't been training this hard for nothing. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Just you wait. I'm gonna hurdle <laughs> clean over those high hopes and show you what I can really do. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that, new Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand, kindly leave the commanding and naming to me. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, are we in camp now? 
Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like you can really kick back in there. That reminds me. How tiresome. Huh. Oh, hello, pretty lady. All right, guys, we are going to end there. Long episode, I know, but hey, I had to let the story play out. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a comment. As always, guys, this is Kanan. Me and Jess love you all very, very much. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.